Welcome back everybody to uh, Tony's Top Tips Workshop um, It's the second part video today um, It's not going to be a long one um, And it's it's just for the um, showing cutting the spiral um, That I was asked to show cutting um, If you remember in the first video I did the rounding toolpath which um, creates the diameter that you want unless you've already got the diameter that you want and you've got it in the chuck that's fine but it's it's nice when it's all trued up in the chuck um, and so today what we're going to do is I'll show you going through the program that I use um, as fire Vectrix as fire and the how I created it and then we'll go on to the machine and then we'll cut the uh, the two toolpaths that's included in this program. There's a there's a a deep cut toolpath, and it goes back and it does a fine in between. Same tool. You could change the tool if you wanted. You just zero off again, and that's it. Okay. So right, we'll go over to PC now. Right here we are back at the. Um computer it's done its um, rounding tool path now so we know that that's exactly 25 millimeters in diameter so what we're going to do now is the uh, create a new file again um, there's nothing changed 90 25 rotary bottom left um, along the x-axis and um, we'll click on that that's that done we've got to gadgets again wrapping and we're going to do a spiral layout right so as you can see on the spiral number of starts or strands and it's two we're only having two on this 25 mil diameter you'll see the effects right the spiral pitch is distance between the two points of the furthest out points like a saw blade i've got that set at five spacing between the strands it's set one there but I'm going to do five same offset from start five that's five million from the first 90 from zero and then uh, from the start of your and then that's five million from the end you can do a float round you just specify which you want get a right hand twist or create a left hand twist um, I saw a gentleman that did a spiral on the uh, on YouTube the other day and he'd created a left and a right on the same and it looked very effective it run a larger diameter but it looked very effective okay total number of revolutions for a spiral is eight well we know that because it did it on the other one right now what you see there is two let me zoom in a bit two lines see that so that is if you can imagine that's your timber unwrapped on a flat surface so these are the two spirals that's going to be cut now if you click on them they're both actuated so what you have to do on that one is right click ungroup ungroup back onto the original object layers okay now they're separate okay so the first one we're going to cut is the rook to tool pass, pin that. Right, we've clicked on the first one, it's highlighted in pink and it's going to be a profile. I've got the cutter which is a 60 degree 6mm V bit. Um, cut depth, we, we want 2mm. So that will give it 4 passes at half mil a piece okay um, nothing I'm going on the line not outside or inside but on the line you see I'm nothing else of interest calculate and that's calculated that so if you look at that look there you see it it's at top it's actually telling you and it'll be four passes that's it see that's that job done okay but now we're going to create the second toolpath 
so we go back to the 2D view click off that one click on the next one now you've got to be careful when you click them like when you're doing your spacings make sure that your spacing is enough not to run into the other one okay, it will cut it but it will run into it so we're going to go on a, um, a profile toolpath now that's set at 2 we're going to change that to 1 you know it passes 2 half a mil each still the same on the line conventional okay that there uh, calculate okay so that's profile 2 profile 3 you see that so you can see that now deep one shallow deep one shallow deep one all the way down okay now <coughs> I'm gonna rename these spiral two mil okay and this one rename there we go so they're renamed okay so we've got and, and if, I, if I play both these now reset preview you can see that now and that's fine then the other one in between so there we go so now what we do here we close that just to finish with that and here we have to save toolpaths so obviously up there output all visible toolpaths to one file okay which is what we want so it's both them okay all visible toolpaths to one file <coughs> you can actually do it if you were changing bits if you were putting a um, a V bit and then uh, uh, maybe a, a ball nose bit in you could change that and you just set it up as a separate job um, and you go and you pick that up as the next file all right so save tool pass and spiral and rename it spirals two no one mil fourth axis there we go spiral two mil spiral one mil that job saved now so all I have to do now is transfer that onto my chip it's already set because it's gone back to home you just need to, to move the x axis uh, the y axis to plus take it away from the job change the bit and then zero off and then bring it back so that's the job completed for this fire and uh, what I'll do now is I'll load these onto the chip and then I'll see you over at the machine and you can watch it cut right here we are at the machine it's all set up, spindles running, programs in let's see what it does now Now it's done its first cut half a mil deep. What it's going to do now is it's it's following the 
cut line back to the stair and then it'll plunge in another half mil and do another pass. As you can see the um, machine is busy doing the spiral. It's done two passes on the two mil deep spiral. I haven't put it up to three mil which is the original one because it's just it, it's just wasting time now. Um, but I had a gentleman um, query, uh, uh, he asked me about the um, the actual dust shoe that I purchased from Sainsmart for this machine, the 52mm motor mount and, uh, and he said, he, he was saying that it wasn't designed for um, this particular machine and uh, it was a valid question but unfortunate when I purchased this it was advertised for the 4040 Pro and that as it was did not fit the 4040 Pro with a 52mm spindle because as I explained in one of the videos it actually catches on the back of the limit switches pushes the bar in um, because it's, it needed a flat on the back and he just asked me how I took it off and I said Look, I did it with my disc sander um, put it on the 90 degree table and just took a, put a flat on it I did take off about 5 I think about 5-6 mil so you can tell how much and it's just clearing it's not clearing by a lot but it clears um, that was another question that, that cropped up with Saints Man um, I did email them but I've not had a reply back on that going back to the start now so it's it's going to plunge in another mil half a mil so two steps so four passes in all and it takes eight turns to go a complete spiral the machine the software calculates that I don't calculate it um, I think my gears in my brain have been working over time you read it now just plunge in another half mil this is on the third pass and then on the second tool path it will go into that automatically because they're both into the software you can do them separately if you're doing a tool change you just zero the z off again um, but it, what it actually will do on the second tool path is plunge in another spiral so it will look as though it's in between um, and that will plunge in just one millimetre in two passes half a millimetre but the little bit of out of balance that you can hear is the fan on the motor um, I've discovered it's out of balance and when you look you can tell why but it was only a, a cheap 500 watt spindle and so and it's like your, your wheels um, on your car you're driving that road 40 mile an hour as I was saying in the video and it's okay but you get up to 50, 55, 60 and you start getting a wheel wobble and that's because it needs that speed, the set speed where it's going to throw it out worse that's why at different speeds you can just hear it vibrate you can find a sweet spot with it but on my pro machine um, I would set it to cut on the backwards stroke as well so it go once, twice, three times, four times and it's cut whereas when this gets here picks itself up after it's been one the spiral cut and then it follows the root of the spiral back and then plunges in another half mil and cuts so it only cuts on one stroke one way
go. Job finished. And it won't go back to zero again there. It'll go back, it'll just finish where it's actually stopped the final cut. It'll lift out and then that's job done. Right, that's jogged out of the way. What we'll do now is actually take that out of the chuck. There we go. Send done there. And as you can see, that's the one we've just done. That's the previous one. You can check the diameters. Exactly the same. There you go. That's on this one. What you've got here is the only reason it looks different is because this was three mil deep and this is two mil deep so both out of the same timber and as you can see it completes it rather well all right welcome back um that's the completion of the um two spirals um the only difference between as i said on the previous video the only difference between that one and that one is the fact that they're all the same except one groove is the large groove v groove is three mil deep that is two mil and that was basically just to save time for the video you see there's no chipping out he's done it rather well even bang in the center where it should do so as i say that completes the um the spiraling video um I will I'm going to test the uh, offline controller out um, uh, with a more complicated program um, I have other things to do at the moment so um, you just have to bear with me me uh, subscribers until then um, but as I say always like and subscribe I will um, any anything you've got in the comments you know I will answer you um, I don't shy away from any um, comments that I get um, fortunately it's, it's it's always been positive feedback um, but until next time be careful be safe bye for now